Hi there, YTPC. It's easy to have a lucky paper coming to you um, outside Whistle Building. As there's a bit of a mess, as you can see. It's been pouring with rain the past week or two, so we haven't really progressed very much. Um, in Israel, rain is very much a blessing. I think this year we had a record amount of rain in five years, so. I have been having too many pipes. Unfortunately, I don't remember I had my last pipe. Um, I feel very blessed with the rain. I also received a package in the mail from Cherry on top. I have a feeling that I know what's inside. So let's, with my Gerber salt knife, open up the package and see what we have. It's very exciting getting a package from a fellow YTPC. -er. I feel it really strengthens the bond. And here we are. Just look at this. I can even smell a little bit through the tin. A tin of Margate. Cherry on top. I don't know what to say. I am blown away for words. I have never had Margate before. I mentioned in one of my videos I've never tried Margate or Penzance and Cherry promised me that if I didn't win one of his goals he would send me a tin and he really did. I really didn't notice so I'm blown away. So I'm going to open up this. Wow, it's a fresh tin. It's never been opened before. I can't really call this video a review because it's more like um, my first expressions. I'm not such an expert. I know my English is a little bit. Here we just had a little fizz, as Simon calls it. Let's open up that tin. Oh, wow. A beautiful, beautiful, sweet English smell over here. Let's look at this. Let's look at this, folks. I wish they had smell of vision It smells very smoky, sweet, and refined. Cherry, you don't know what you've done. And here's a piece of paper on top for the cherry on top. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Let's look at this. Look unto this, folks. So, without any further to do, I'm going to. It feels to me perfect. As you can see, it's a kind of a ribbon cut. You can see the different tobaccos, different shades of brown here. Wow, the smell here is absolutely divine. Reminds me a little bit of maybe Sultana's, um, the smokiness. It does smell very, very refined. I'm smoking in a corn cob. I showed you in a second, folks. This corn cob was made by Kenwood Piper in honor of the one of Donny Shaw raffles. And I was lucky enough to win it. A beautiful, beautiful corn cob with a lovely, gorgeous stem. It's a little bit dark outside. I didn't get a chance to get back home now from work, so I have to make this video. I've been bursting through this the whole day. Everyone knows the feeling, I'm sure. I think I should really call myself the Twilight Piper. I like smoking at the twilight. Mmm. 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 Boy, is this good. It's just very... It's flavoursome. But it's not like in your face. L'chaim, l'chaim everybody, l'chaim, l'chaim. Cheers, Simon. L'chaim, folks. Mmm. Wow. Wow. It says on it, best full English tobacco, estoque tobacco. Um, I 
made in Jersey, Margate. Folks, it really is delicious. A lot of flavour, smokiness and sweetness. Mmm, beautiful. Lately, on the YTPC, we've been going through a little bit of a, I call it like a reset mode. Every couple of months, we go through these kind of stages where we start examining ourselves. It's a little bit concerned today, which I call this video a yabo or a tobacco review. Know, some people have been feeling that we're getting a bit carried away here on the abos and to, on the reviews. There's been a lot, lot of discussion also about the quality of YTPC videos. Usually I don't discuss these things, but I'd like to say a few words if I may, folks. I hope I offend no one. For many of us, the YTPC is the only really outlet we have to the pipe smoking world. I'm very blessed that we have a smoking group. We have a little club. And honest truth, when the guys get together, at the moment we have no girls, only guys, unfortunately. What goes on is we try different tobaccos and people show off their pipes. I mean, a few fellows that come just to smoke with us. But that's what it's all about. This is a hobby. I think many, many times we have no one else we need to show our pipes to and try different tobaccos. So I know I would say the YTPC is like an iceberg. There's always an iceberg, you have a small amount above the water. I'm not sure if it's a third and there's two thirds underneath the water. So I'd say with the YTPC, you probably have a third of the people are the presenters and two thirds so called lurkers smoking pipes, watching. I think it's really nice being a lurker, I've been done it myself for the past week or so. If I can't get to smoke a pipe, at least watching other people smoking pipes is also really enjoyable. So obviously people are going to be making videos about these kind of subjects. This is on people's minds. Um, some of us are lucky that we live in places where tobacco is very abundant. It's just amazing how this stays lit and it's the smoking so slow. Mm. Cherry, God bless you, you're really a good man. I mean, for me, this big part of the YTPC, I mean, I never in my wildest dreams would get my hands on something like this. When Cherry said he was sending me a tin, I thought it was, you know, joking. He's, Cherry is a serious guy, serious dude. And it's just so beautiful. And for, and for me, you know, people are making other videos because for me I think Simon mentioned that watching one of his videos a few nights ago he was saying that the Yabos is kind of a rite of passage and that's for me when I first when I received my first package I felt connected I mean having a pipe from Kenwood Piper I've won things from Ben the Bag Piper I've had some um, goodies from different people I'm not going to mention you all I think so I don't offend anybody and forget but this amazing feeling when you receive things from overseas. You know, it says YouTube. I mean, one of the beautiful things about YouTube is, you know, with television, you have to watch the program. With YouTube, you just, you know, you choose what you want to watch, you skip over. I mean, before I have a tobacco, I like to watch the review sometimes. The times I'm in the mood for Yabo, and the times I'm in the mood for, for a pipe chat. You know, whatever you want to do, you just do. So I think guys should just, who am I to say? But I think we just need to relax, enjoy the content that people are making. And God bless them for making that content. Because that content, there would be no ITPC. And some guys' videos are absolutely amazing. I wish my videos could be a little bit better. Unfortunately, I don't have much time. So lately I've been making videos, you know, straight to air, as they say. I've thought about maybe making videos as I'm driving, but it's just, for me, it doesn't, doesn't suit my smoking and my driving style. I don't know if Mr. Happy would be too happy seeing me smoking a pipe in the car as well. That's another matter. 
But I learned so much. I mean, every person comes to the hobby from a different place. But lately, there's been some amazing content. I mean, Simon's videos on how making a pipe, I mean, was a complete blown away. I always wondered how they made pipes. And Simon's really doing a very good job. And it's just so beautiful how, how people are so eager and prepared to share all their secrets, their trade secrets. And, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful community. So I really think we should look on the good side of things as well. Look, regarding the YTPC content, what I noticed has happened. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. It's one of these kind of blends, you just want to like stop talking and just think. And, but I just want to add a little more, one final point to the video. It's not too much of a ramble. Well, I mean, what happens is you get presenters and two things happen. Some guys branch off into certain things. So you have people that become like a husband and wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, which is, which is perfectly good, perfectly cool. Get some guys that do the review, some guys that talk about their pipes, some guys talk about pipe making, some guys talk about other, other interesting lifestyle things, which is perfectly legit, perfectly kosher, perfectly cool. But then what happens is, after you've made so many videos, some people get stuck. And then you get this whole new generation, or I call it first grade, of YTPers, YTPCers. So you always have like two ends of the spectrum. You have the professional guys that have been making videos for years. Many of them, I would say, are like household names in the YTPC already. And then you have the newbies. So I think when we're in a transition stage now, I know there's a lot of guys who made videos, haven't seen videos for them for quite some time. I myself, you know, this kind of weather, it's hard for me to make videos. I think after a while, I think people go through different stages of the YTPC, you know, a guy that was a presenter can sometimes return to his lurkish habits, vice versa. I think the goals are really, really great. It gets people involved, gets people talking. Um, for the most part, I haven't really felt anyone's there's very much snobbiness going on over here. I mean, people are very passionate. People are very, very excited about their pipes. Very excited about their tobaccos. People are very, very excited. And I think, you know, if you're not excited about pipes and tobaccos, the YTPC isn't really the place to be. I mean, anyone can come and watch, but you know, you're going to find it pretty boring. So I think when the transition stage now, so we've got the real professional guys making amazing videos. You have the guys in the middle as well. I, f I think I am. I hope I'm in the middle at least. So you know, we're enjoying the hobby, smoking a couple of times a week, weather and, and, and other things allowing. I think you have the complete newbies who are just trying to trying to get in there, trying to connect with people. I mean, as a community, it's a very, very open community, we're very, very accepting. I mean. It's just amazing to be able to chat with, you know, Mutton Chops or Kano and Piper or the Douglas, for example, or Simon or Grandpa Cavendish. All these guys are legends and very, very acceptable. And I think we have to try and keep this going and just relax and, you know, let people do their things. You know, the nature of things is there'll be some guys that burn out or some guys that change. And so, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's all YouTube videos. I think it's really, really amazing in this day and age. There's a platform where people can smoke pipes together and talk together and connect together. Mm. Just very excited about what's going on. The honest truth, I feel a little bit left out that, you know, like we have these live pipe meetups, live videos with Simon, with um, Quaker, with Cherry and his, and his drinking game. Unfortunately, I miss out on these things with a time difference, but I love watching them throughout the day. I still think the YTBC is a great place. We have a lot to learn. There are a lot of good people there, out there to teach us. And I will feel very, very blessed And I think it's a, healthy, it's a healthy sign that every couple of months, I think it's like, you know, you have to reset your computer, restart the computer. 
that we go through this kind of stage where people start, you know, evaluating and discussing what is it all about, you know. Anyway, I hope I haven't gone on too long. Cherry on top, you've blown me away, man. I never dreamt I'll be outside enjoying some Margate in this beautiful pipe. And incidentally, folks, all these things are from the YTPC. This is from Knold Piper. Cherry on top. This beautiful leather tray. Also was made for me by YTPC. Huh? And unfortunately, his name escapes my memory at the moment. I have to remind, I have to think about it, and I'll make a video about that one time. So for me, there's the smoking and there's the connecting, enjoying each other's company, enjoying the videos. So guys, I hope I haven't gone on too much. I'm a little bit excited, you know, opening some Margates, my first smoke in a week and a half. Beautiful smoke. The weather is gorgeous. Just look outside. Just look at that sunset. Just look at that. I really think if I make a name change, I'll call myself the Sunset Piper or the Dusk Piper. Here we go. Not much to update about the kitchen, unfortunately. That's all for now, folks. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bowl. God bless you all. Shalom from Izzy. Let's take all easily. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. God bless you now. Bye-bye.